Now we are going to discuss about a very special geometric shape that is tetrahedron. The meaning of tetra is 4 and hedron indicating a geometric solid having a specified number of faces or surface. So the meaning of tetrahedron is a geometric solid having four faces or four surfaces. Here you see a tetrahedron. This tetrahedron has four faces. All faces are triangle. One, two, three, and four. This one is another presentation of tetrahedron. One, two, three, and another faces is behind this one. You can here you can easily see four faces of tetrahedron. That is one, two, and three, and this one is four. A tetrahedron consists of four faces and intersecting point of faces are straight line. So tetrahedron consists of six such lines which are called edges. Here you see three red and three black edges of tetrahedron. A solid having four plane uh, triangular faces are known as tetrahedron and tetrahedron is a very special type of pyramid. Now we are going to discuss about regular tetrahedron. A tetrahedron in which all four faces are equilateral triangle that is called regular tetrahedron. All four faces are equilateral triangle. We all know for equilateral triangle all sides are equal. So for regular tetrahedron all the edges are equal. Now we are going to find the slant height of a regular tetrahedron. Consider this one is a regular tetrahedron. Since this one is a regular tetrahedron, all four faces are equal. If this one is the first phase, the second phase, the third phase, and lastly, the fourth phase. We have to take one triangle as a base of tetrahedron. And we have to draw a in circle on the base triangle. What is in circle? The condition for in circle is that the circle touches the each side of the triangle is called in circle for that triangle. So this circle touches the base triangle at three points. The one, two, three. This three point join the touches point of uh, side with the opposite of the vertex. So we have to join this point with the opposite vertex. These lines are called slant height. One, two, three. Since the in circle touches the uh, base triangle at three points, so we have three slant height. If all the faces are equilateral triangle, we can easily say that each of these green lines are the median of the triangle. The medians are the slant height for the tetrahedron. Now we are going to find the value of slant height when the length of edges are given. Suppose this one is a regular tetrahedron, the edge of this tetrahedron is A. This one is given. We want to find this length, that is the value of slant height. For this one, we have to take one face, one triangular face, where the side is, uh, length is A. We are going to find the value of this L, the, the median of triangle, which is the slant height of the tetrahedron. So, since this one is equilateral triangle, we all know the uh, value will be A by 2. Here, because uh, this line uh, divide the uh, opposite line into two equal parts, so this value of this one will be a by two. Then uh, apply Pythagoras theorem to get the value of this L. This uh, triangle is a right angle triangle. This is the hypotenuse. This one uh, other two sides. So we can easily apply the Pythagoras theorem to find the value of L. So the hypotenuse square is, is equal to the sum of square on other two sides, that is a square equal to a by 2 square plus l square. So l square equal to, if we change the side, that is a square minus a square by 2 whole square. Then we find l equal to square root of 3 a square by 4. Finally, we get the slant height l equal to square root of 3 divided by 2 a. How to find the height of the tetrahedron? In this tetrahedron, this red mark line is the height. We are going to find this height with the help of this slant height. Draw three medians to find the centroid. We have to find the centroid of, of the base triangle. So 
we have to draw three medians on base triangle one two and three this intersecting point is called centroid so we have to find the centroid of base triangle then this part will be the in radius from center to the foot of the slant height is in radius this from center to the foot of slant height this one this length is the in radius height this height this slant height and this in radius makes a right angle triangle now we have to first find the value of in radius what is the value of in radius this in radius so the value of median this median the whole median is square root of 3 divided by 2a and we all know the median divide into mm, ratio 2 ratio 1 at center this one this part is 2 this part is double of this part so this one is the 2 ratio 1 divide part of this median so the value of the in radius this part will be one third of this one that is square root of 3 divided by 2a into 1 by 3 so the value is a by 2 square root of 3 this in radius r this height a and this slant height l makes a right angle triangle so this l the the slant height is the hypotenuse and these two are the other side so we can apply pythagoras theorem to find the value of h that is height so l is square is equal to h is square plus r is square so a c square equal to l is square minus r is square and now we are going to substitute the value of l and r we get the uh, value of l is root over 3 by 2 a and value of r is a by 2 root 3 so uh, putting this value we can easily find the value of height is the square root of 2 by 3 a with the help of slant height height we can find the value of the volume of tetrahedron so what is the volume of tetrahedron since tetrahedron is a special types of pyramid so we all know the value of uh, volume of pyramid is one third area in, into area of the base into height so this formula is applicable for tetrahedron so one third into area of the base into height so one third into the area of the base since all the faces are equilateral triangle so we all know the area of the equilateral triangle is the square root of 3 by 4 a square so area of the base is square root of 3 by 4 a square and the height we already find the square root of 2 by 3 a after a calculating we get the value of the area of the tetrahedron is a cube by 6 root over 2 where a is the a or side length of the tetrahedron now we're going to find the total surface area of the tetrahedron and we all know the tetrahedron consists of four equilateral triangle so if we find the area of the uh, tetra, uh, any phase uh, of tetrahedron and if, if we multiply with four we will get the value of total surface area the area of the base into 4 will give the value of total surface area of the tetrahedron so we all know uh, all four faces are equilateral triangle so 4 into the value of area of equilateral triangle is square root of 3 divided by 4 a square equal to root over 3 a square where a is the length of a so if the length of a is a of a tetrahedron then the total surface area of tetrahedron will be square root of 3 a square